Hello, my name is Alex Merced from Greco Financial Training Institute. And you can check us out online at greco.com. What I want to talk about today is what is an options contract. An options contract is just a contract between two investors. We have one investor who is buying the contract, so they are the buyer of the option. They are also the holder of the option. They are also long the option. We have another investor who is the seller of the option. They are also known as the writer of the option. They are short the option. There are two types of options. There are call options and there are put options, calls and puts. So first, let's talk about calls. When an investor buys a call option, they are buying a contract that gives them the right to buy shares at a set price. So Bob here has the right to buy shares at 50 using his call option that he purchased. While Steve, who sold Bob the call option, he's going to receive the premium that Bob pays for the option. But if Bob ever uses the option to buy shares, then Steve will have to sell them his shares at that set price of 50, also known as the strike price. Now if the stock were to go up in price, then it makes sense for Bob to use his call option because then he can buy the shares at 50 and then sell them at the higher market price, we'll say 60. So if he buys shares at 50 using the call option and then sells them in the market at 60, he'll make money. But if the stock price were to go down, then it would not make sense for Bob to use the call option. So eventually the call option will expire and Steve will get to keep all that money Bob paid to buy the option, aka the option premium. Now let's talk about puts, which are just the exact opposite. That's the great thing about finance, you only have to learn half of it, because everything else is the opposite. If you're the buyer of a put option, you are purchasing a contract that allows you to sell shares at a set price. So Bob here today is paying the options premium to own a contract that allow him to sell shares at the price of 50, at the strike price of 50. While Steve, who sold Bob the put contract, he receives the premium, but one day if Bob uses the put option to sell shares at 50, then Bob has no choice but to have to buy those shares from Bob at 50. If the stock price goes down, then it makes sense for Bob to use his put option. He can exercise the option and sell shares at the price of 50 and then buy them back at a lower price in the market, we'll say 30. So buy the shares at 30, sell them at 50 using your put option, you make money. Although if the stock were to go up, then it would not make sense for Bob to use his put option. So instead, the option contract would expire and Steve would get to keep all that premium that Bob paid when he bought the option. This is only the beginning of the world of options. We invite you to come join us at one of our live Greco classes. Learn more about Greco Financial Training, where Wall Street learns business by going down to greco.com. Thank you very much.